Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Sinking City. Today we want to find the captain of the Titania and uh, the last clue that we got is that he was wounded. So we're gonna take a look around and see if we can find him at the hospital. Also, I started here at this um, telephone cell and we're gonna, we're gonna fast travel from here. That's pretty cool, so I figured out how that works. And it seems that we can go over here, space to hold fast travel, and the hospital is right around the corner. That is perfect. So, it states, Lost at Sea. Robert Throckmorton funded an expedition to discover the origin of the Mars Hysteria gripping Oakmont. And that's what we're gonna do now. It's our current case. Also, I think... I think I need to take a look at my inventory here and definitely craft my bullets. So far I think the revolver is cool just because I think it deals the most damage. It has a rather limited uh, magazine but um, you know it's, I think so far it is the most impactful weapon that we have. So I'm gonna craft some more bullets for that. Can we go for the submachine gun too? I mean, at the moment we have some spare gunpowder and some, some spare shell casings. You know what? I start building something for that. Just to make sure that we have enough ammunition in case we are getting into a fight again. So, let's take a look around. And let's see if we can find the hospital. Uh, actually, yeah, it's right around the corner here. Let's do it! Hospital of St. Mary, founded in 1862, designed by B.A. Kaplan. Every life matters. Oh, mister? Taking a smoke break? Okay. Patient or visitor? Hold on, hold on. Let Dr. Grant guess. A visitor. Though you are a bit pale, you don't have a headache, do you? Uh, yeah, a bit. The usual. Nothing to write home about. Ah. A chronic headache sufferer. <laughs> Fascinating. Uh, by coincidence, I was studying Helminth and their role in illness uh, before the flood. Uh, did you know that all of us are infected by Helminth? Y your headaches could indicate that they have infested your brain. That's news to me, Doc. Sounds serious. Mm. May I suggest you become a subject in my experimental medical program? I am not too sure about that, to be honest, but hey, let's try. We're here to, you know, <laughs> investigate and uh, get an interesting storyline, so let's uh, be friends with the dog. Experimental medicine. Well, I guess it can't be any worse than the asylum in Boston. Count me in. Uh, I'm delighted to hear that, Mr... Uh, uh, Reed. Charles Reed. Mr. Reed, take these pills with some water. They're a potent measure against parasites. Contact me when you feel improvement. Uh... Oh, whoa, 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 wait a second. They can actually hurt me? They hurt me? What? What? Can I, can I hurt them? Oh, yeah, I can. Oh my god, I didn't know that! I thought they were just illusions! What? Alright. That is super interesting, so I actually have to get rid of them. Alright. Also, I have the feeling that sometimes the music is still too loud. This is uh, this game has a very, very weird audio setting, I gotta say. So let's turn on the music a little bit like that, maybe. So that the voices are sticking out more. You poisoned me! What the hell did you give me, Doc? Is something wrong? You seem perfectly healthy to me. Your medicine blinded me. And then it gave me these visions. Worse than a blow to the head. What are you trying to pull? Intriguing. These side effects are a new development. I'll have to run some more tests. Let me know if anything else happens, won't you? Uh, sure, yeah. Let me talk about... Oh, side quest? It looks like hard work in these conditions. You need a hand? Well, yes, actually. But it may result in close contact with the wilds. Is that gonna be a problem? I'm prepared to face men and beasts alike. Count me in. 
Ah, I can see it in your eyes. Well, I have taken it upon myself to study the wild beasts, but need more data to confirm two of my hypotheses. One concerns the multi-handed creatures, and the other the vomiting humanoids. Vomiting humanoids, you say? Uh, those hideous wretches seem almost human. But what could turn one into such a monstrosity? Jim Bells, a patient of mine, was admitted to hospital with symptoms resembling cholera, but he turned into one of those things. Incredible. Here's the address. Find out what happened. What have you found out about the multi-handed beasts? One of my patients saw them in his nightmares before the flood. I can't visit him, but he must know something. Here's his address. Oh, okay, cool. I'm looking for a man. Just checked in. Uh, cut up pretty bad. I've got a trauma unit full of patients like that, sir. Okay, um, this might ring a bell. My guy has a deep axe wound in his shoulder. Sir, I really don't have time for rifling through paperwork. But you're welcome to take a look at our archives if it means that much to you. Bye. Okay. It's another archive search. Let's take a look around. I really like that we have a new side quest now. That hopefully directs us into, you know, the, the right area. Uh, okay, so let's uh, start with the archives first. I'm always pressing E, which is my usual interaction button. But yeah, several men in Instamuth syndrome, blah blah. Brown newspapers now, ship freight advertisement now. Ah, there we go. Wounded Sanders. Subjects. Patient. Period. After the flood. Apartment. Surgery? Ta da! Grimhaven Bay, wounded. Peter Crowley, male, 29, Oakmonter. Multiple burns and fragmentation wounds to chest and face as a result of an explosion. Several surgeries, wound treatment, facial sur surgery, prognosis good, bed rest recommended. Then Joseph Willow, male, 39, newcomer, deep cut wound to left shoulder, broken collarbone, fractured scapula, scapula? scapula? wound stitched, fracture set and bandaged, no uh, trace of infection evident, prognosis good, bed rest recommended. Aha! Uh -huh. So, shall we take a look at our mind palace here? Wounded sailor. The sailors on the Titania attacked one another. All but one were killed. The survivor has a deep wound in the shoulder. Good, let's take a look around. Maybe we can find the... Beds. Okay, shell casings and more gunpowder. Yeah. Where are we here? By the way, you can't tell me anything, but that in there? Is that clear water? With so much rust on the tank? I doubt it. I mean, it all depends on what's inside the tank, but yeah. Also... What's in that coffin? Do I want to know? Just gunpowder, okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Surgery table. Yeah, we just took the shortcut. Ah, okay. So, there's that. Anything we can't find over here? No, it's just a, I don't know, shower, cleaning room, whatever. Let's get the hell out of here. There was also an upper story. Let's see. I want to talk to the patient. And it seems that we can. That might be him. Oh, my stomach. I ain't never eaten leeches ever again, no sir. Why would you do such a thing? That's disgusting. Ugh. Leeches? Really? These people are so weird. What about you, man, huh? Are you my guy? Like it? What happened to you, mister? Pete. Explosion. Fishing with dynamite. It hurts talking. Fishing with dynamite, huh? 
You sure it wasn't from a fight in port? Maybe on a ship? I'm sure. Oh, please, leave. Bye. The wounded patient Pete. Huh. Okay. Up we go. So weird. All the buildings are so broken. Uh, that might be him. Scratch me. Please, please. Just here. This itching is driving me insane. Certainly not, ma'am. Certainly not. Oh. More stuff. More stuff is always good. Yeesh. What happened to your shoulder? Uh, some psycho. In a bar brawl. Gun came out, he clipped me good in the shoulder. Something I can help you with? I'm just looking for someone. Uh, Captain Sanders. Captain Sanders? Never heard of him. I'm Joseph Willow. Y you should probably look somewhere else. <sighs> That's funny. The records say you were admitted for an axe wound, just like a certain Captain Sanders got in the port massacre. Spill. Oh, to the depths with it. Who sent you? I'm asking the questions here, pal. Yeah, well, first tell me who you are. I'm investigating the visions. Yeah. Charles Reed. I'm a newcomer. I'm looking for the source of the Oakmont visions. We had them, my crew and I. And during the expedition, the dreams. You can't understand, Mr. Reed. You weren't there. Hmm. What happened? I think it'd be an understatement to say your expedition met with disaster. There are things that should never be found, Mr. Reed. I only wish I'd known that then. Maybe they'd still be alive. The scientists, my crew. None of them deserved what happened to them. I was on the Titania before I came here. It seems you were all hitting the bottle pretty hard. Why? To stop them from rioting. To save them from despair. After those dives, anyone would turn to drink. So, the diving did a number on your crew. But what happened in the port? I don't know. They were calm until we docked, and then... Then they lost it. And many good men lost their lives. Did you know Albert Throgmorton made it to shore? Albert survived? Is he here? No. He didn't make it. He's dead as the rest. Murdered in the port. But what about the others? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, we, um... Uh, my crew left them down there. Underwater. I ordered a rescue attempt, but they threatened mutiny. You've got a good reason for leaving the expedition to die, right? You, uh, you weren't there. Day after day on that ship, it was a horror, Mr. Reed. We saw... things. Not one of us dared sleep. It was an expedition into cursed waters, mark my words. Tell me what happened on the last dive. We had a system. The divers go down, then come up at a prearranged time. But not one surfaced that day. In the end, I sent a team to check. They returned with Albert, but all were half mad with fear. What were you looking for underwater? Uh, the cause of all this. The stones, the flood, the monsters. The scientists found cracks on the seabed. They were working on some theory of how it connected to the madness. The ocean floor splits open and that means hysteria on land. Really? We spent days over the cracks. We heard things. Saw things looking back at us. Could you take me out to where the last dive took place? No, no. You can't follow them, Mr. Reed. 
It's suicide. Worse than suicide. I'm a Navy diver, Captain. And with all due respect, I'm not afraid of boogeymen. I don't care. I'm not taking you there. And besides, you'll never follow them without proper equipment. Do you know where I can get a good diving suit? My men got theirs from a local factory. If you're that bullheaded, I'll write down the address. Where's the logbook from the Titania? Well, I had it with me, but I was all out of it by the time I got here. I remember the surgery ward. When I came round, my things were gone. Get better soon. Wow, that's a, that's a lot of interesting stuff happening here. Do we actually go underwater? That would be so cool. I would love to see that. But, where are we going from now? Let's take a look at our mind palace. Crazy crew. Sanders told me his crew lost their mind after the expedition began. That fits here. The Titania crew went mad and started a massacre at the port as a result. Yes. Good. So, casebook. Oh, we can also do field research. A former patient shop. And home from the infected man. I really want to do that. I want to see what we get out of this. Also, what about skills? I want to get this here. Which gives us a 50% chance to gain double quest reward items. Before we actually uh, turn it in. So... Hmm, we will get some experience from fighting, I believe. Let's see. Um, Dr. Gran asked me to visit a shop in Central Salvation Harbor on Windheim Street, south of Polaris Road. Take a look. Salvation Harbor, Windheim... Windheim, Salvation Road. Here? Okay. Uh, give me a second. Place on map with spacebar. So, Windtime Street, south of Polaris. South of Polaris Road. Polaris, Polaris, Polaris. Here. Okay, so I believe it's like in this area. Let's mark it on the map. It's a long journey though. So I don't know if I want to go there yet. Let me go back to the casebook. What about the other thing? The man who died and uh, turned into a monstrous creature lived in Northern Salvation Harbor on Moreland Road between Higgs Lane and Benevolent Tides Road. Dr. Grant from Oakman City Hospital asked me to find out what happened there. It's the same area. Salvation Harbor, uh, Moreland Road, Higgs and Benevolent. Where is it? Moreland between Higgs and... That's a thing. So that's Moreland. Moreland. Da -da -da. There's Higgs. And where's the other thing? I don't know. So I, I believe it's like like here. Oh yeah, that's Benevolent uh, Tides Road. So, like over here. Okay. So we have them marked on our map. What are we gonna do now with the main case though? Diving Suit Factory. Senna sent a man to purchase diving suits from the factory, which is located in Western Grimhaven Bay, C. Smith Avenue between Levy Coffin Avenue and Deepshaw Road. I guess that's the next thing. We're gonna take a look there and try to find the diving suit. So, Western Grimhaven on Smith Avenue. Western is here. There's Smith Avenue between Levy Coffin Avenue and Deep Shore Road. Here? Alright, let's mark it on the map. It's kind of a shame that my other markers are gone now. What, what, what is that? Can we only mark one at a time or why is that? I don't like that. I gotta say, I don't like that. Alright. Anyway, we'll go there, I guess. Let's do it. Back to the fast travel point. Fast traveling down here. And then we go. So, getting out to the left and to the right. Cool. Anything else that we can find? Oh, I think this is done. This is absolutely done for here.
Let's get out of here. So that was the hospital. So to the fast travel point we go. Also this um the streets looked very much underwater. I am not entirely sure if I can go there by foot. Alright, let's go down here. Great. The diving suit. I mean, the diving suits in the 20s, they were super big and clunky things. With those big helmets and everything. And we... I think we don't have any portable oxygen, so we probably need some kind of... Um, hose attached to our helmet. That brings the air from from the surface. Probably need people to operate that. Dude, who are you? You, you're the man who handled the problems in the port. Seemed like a sharp sleuth. Want to make something on the side? Sure. You pay, I work. What's the job? Ah, a fellow businessman. I'm Vincent, but you can call me Vince. First task is to find the ship's log for the Pride. Charles Reed. A few questions, if I may. Sure, sure. Why are you looking for a ship log? Maybe I'll tell you when the job is done. Right now, you don't need to know. In my line of work, you don't get far without appreciating the need for privacy. I understand. What can you tell me about the Pride? I'm gonna need somewhere to start. Mostly rumors. The captain was an exemplary patriot. Always had a flag with him. His last shipment may have been chemicals and metal barrels. It could be resting on the seabed a thousand miles away. What makes you think it can be found? I wouldn't waste my money on you unless I had hope. Local drunkards say they saw the barge on the sunken road near the fish market. Good. I'll check the place and bring you the Pride's ship log if it's still there. See you later. And we got another side quest. Oh, cool. I like that. But yeah, we want to go to the diving suit factory. See what we can get there. Um, yeah, we're gonna go to the left here and take the boat. Let's see. Fresh fish, fresh fish. Just I don't want your fish. I'm not hungry. This is, by the way, also a thing that I kind of find funny in those games. You never have to eat, you never have to sleep. Alright, where's that factory that you're talking about? I think I'm here. Crap, I hate those. I'm over here. I don't want to waste bullets right now. Hey, we made it. Cool. And yeah, it seems that we still have some equipment here. Wow. That's a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, the boots, the weighted boots that would drag you down. So you would be able to actually walk over the sea ground. Right. What's that? Ooh, a pistol round. Nice. Hmm. Nothing here so far. We have to investigate further. This wouldn't even hold air for a minute. Why? This is in perfect condition. Yeah, I guess it's a bit rusty. But still. Come on, it's looking great. You're gonna become Big Daddy here. <laughs> okay, let's go upstairs first. I think I just heard something. And I think it was downstairs. I'm not trusting my life to a rusty suit. Why? Come on, have some faith, man.
that? Gunpowder. Alright. I have the strong feeling that it is a good idea to get some more bullets. Especially for the Tommy gun. This looks good. Right? <laughs> Harpoon gun, flare gun, diving suit. All evidence collected. Nice. Um, yeah, I'm not questioning where he just put that diving suit. Absolutely not. I'll just go with it. <laughs> Okay. Let's take a look around in the basement, though. Bye. I strongly believe that we're gonna get attacked by eels here, right? Because we are swimming. Yeah. The longer we are underwater, the more we are getting attacked. Is there anything here that we can find still? It absolutely doesn't seem like it. No, let's get the hell out of here. Okay. So, we got a diving suit. Great. What are we gonna do with that now? We need to find... We need to find the, um... The place, and we need a ship. Diving suit of the same type we used in the Navy. Old, but in good state. I should... It should be good. Down to about a hundred meters in it. Great, great, great. So, Sanders informed me that the expedition anchored at several points in the ocean, diving to inspect the seabed. The coordinates of these anchor points may be in the ship's log. Yeah, Sanders brought it with him to the hospital, but the last place he remembered was a surgery ward. At the last anchor point, the scientists discovered some cracks in the seabed. Something horrible happened there, and the crew were frightened so badly that they mutinied after saving Albert Throckmorton. Much of the expedition were abandoned in the underwater cracks. Uh, that means I have to talk to the surgery ward. I could have done that probably in the hospital directly. I guess we gotta go back then. Okay, turning around. Back to the hospital we go. And I believe we could also start the uh, side quest for uh, the second ship here. Let's see. Alrighty. Man, your face. Oopsie, sorry. Just wanted to take a look at you, man. All red and burns? And fishy? That was important. Let's keep going. So we're gonna go to the fast travel point again, go back to the hospital and uh, talk to more people there. Maybe we can find out what was going on there and who took the lock. We need that to find the spot where we actually have to go. Oh, fast traveling. Where's the hospital? Oh, there it is. And as you can see, we didn't find all the clues in the hospital yet, so it makes sense to go there and try to find more. Um, yeah, it was this area, right? Yeah, pretty much seems like it. Come, find something you like. Cheaper you? than the rest. What? Are you selling brains? God, the city is so messed up. Hey, Doc. Be safe. We don't have any free beds left. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't like this guy. A little bit of a mad scientist. Uh, random people. I mean, there was somebody at the very top of this whole building. Let's see. Uh, there was a woman standing on a desk. Maybe it's her we have to talk to. No? Huh. Oh, interesting. I think we have salvage stuff here. Or scavenge stuff there. Scratch me. Please, please. I warned you. This itching is driving me insane. 
Which means that if you just enter a building and leave it again, you can just get all the stuff. Like unlimited resources. What the hell is that? Oh. Let me rest. I mean, there's nobody here anymore, oh, right? That I haven't talked to already. Ever again. No, sir. Still, we are missing some clues. More gunpowder and pistol rounds. Floor 2 and 3, patient wards. Floor 1, reception, basement, surgery, storage. Uh, let's go back to the basement. Maybe we can find the personal belongings. Oh, hello. What's your problem? Oh, now we can... No, wait. We, we've entered this before. Let me see. There it is. Okay. Ship's lock. Titania. Argon accident place. Crew complaining of noises and no sleep. Fish behaving strangely. March 22nd. Reach the... Crew reporting hallucinations. March 23rd. Distributed rum. Hopefully it will distract them. March 23rd. Found an air pocket in the cave caverns near the devil's teeth. Close the city. Scientists discovered walls, ancient walls, asked for crates with tools. March 24th, sent Tate and Myers down to investigate after surfacing deadline passed. March 24th, Tate and Myers returned with only Albert Throckmorton, who is now completely unhinged. His madness disturbing, unsettling. March 24th, the crew dragged Albert to a lifeboat, tried to stop them, resulted in mutiny. Alright. Air pocket in the caverns near the devil's teeth, close to the city. Okay. We have a new location, boat to devil's teeth. Very, very good. I like it. Cool. So, let's take a look at the mind palace. Albert's saviors. Albert was the only one saved. The crew was rioting and afraid of his insanity. They cast him adrift. Sure. Expedition anchor point. The expedition's final dive was made near a cluster of underwater rocks known as the Devil's Teeth. The Devil's Teeth are not far from Oakmanport. I have coordinates and should be able to get there by boat. Okay. Wait, does it mean we're gonna go alone? I mean, that's the location, huh? And there's a boat. Ooh, interesting. Very interesting. We actually have to... Uh-huh. We have to go there. By ourselves. What I want to go for is... The... Bounty of the Sea. The lost barge named the Pride was transporting a lot of chemicals in metal barrels. Its captain was extremely patriotic. More importantly, rumor says it was seen in southern shells in Moreland Road near the intersection of Old Colony Street. Okay, let me see if I can place that on the map. Southern shells. Shells. We are not even close to that. So, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go diving here. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's get the hell out of here and go back and take the boat. So I believe we will we will investigate the other districts soon enough, and then we're gonna do the side quest when we arrive there. I think there is no need for going going back and forth all the time now. There's the fast travel point. Go. Ooh, this is gonna be interesting. Where are we? We get through here? Yeah, seems like it. Just south west. 
Exactly. I have a very bad feeling about this, I gotta say. But... If it drives the storyline, then it drives the storyline. It's gonna be cool. So, where was the boat? Yep. I'm on the right way. Okay. Where the hell are we? Oh, it's a little island here. Okay, that was something like a fast travel. And that is a diving point. Alright. Alright. I am not entirely sure if I want to do it, but hey, let's go. I hope you guys are not afraid of depths. Oh boy, here we go. Press T for more information. Okay. The harpoon stuns hostile creatures for a short time. Flares light your way and can distract hostile creatures. If damaged, hold to slowly recover your diving suit's pressure. There's the harpoon. This stone isn't natural. Could it be a statue? What is that? Oakmont University. So that that is material. That is uh, scientific material that they've lost here. Oh my freaking god! What the? Uh, not good. I'm losing sanity. Also, do I have to drop here? Seems like it. Oh my god. <laughs> I am going insane. I just need to take a break. Ah! Tentacles! Tentacles everywhere! Get the hell out of here. Quickly as possible. Okay, had a little skeleton. Um, how do I not lose sanity anymore? Are we going mad? Oh my god. Oh my god, this is not okay. <laughs> mm, we kind of made it though. Barely. Let's reload the revolver. It's important. Good. Good, good, good. Uh, let's reload the Tommy gun. Let's reload everything. Okay. <laughs> Wrong button. The scientists didn't even take their tools with them. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Interesting. Um, yeah. So, give me one moment. I want to craft more. It's important. Important that we have all the ammo in the world. Somebody's sitting there, by the way. Hey, dude. Gods lean over us. Gods crawl in us. Gods who have marked me as their aphid. Okay. 
There's another guy standing. What the hell? Those suits are all cut up. Oh. What? Hey, fellas. Are, are you okay? A ritual knife and a cult sign. I think I better show Mr. Throckmorton. Ah, nice. Where's my camera? Okay. A ritual knife and a cult sign. Yeah, yeah. I think I better show Mr. Throckmorton. We've seen that before. Uh, on Lewis. Sancta Mare, be our eyes. Eyes to see the distant stars. Hark, he comes. The sacred, full-bellied bearer of splendor. Take me. Make me. I beg you. Bearer of what? Who are you talking to? What happened? Uh, uh, our, our eyes. First, second, third. Opened by the aura. You see much, yet do not see the splendid shell of the white virgin here sleeping. Cut the horse crap. Give me a straight answer. Nonsense. But, but it is meaning that is meaningless. Open yourself. Walk. Listen. Pray. Wake, you holy worm. Take his skin and skull for your home. Take my worship and grant your kindness. I pray you. <laughs> Okay. Do we do that? Oh, crap. A perfectly preserved artifact. Was it the focus of their worship? Huh. <laughs> I just want to take a look around here in the back before we actually enter the the scene there. This is actually pretty cool, I gotta say. This is exactly what, what I imagine in a Cthulhu game. Ancient artifacts, people going insane. Okay. We enter the temple the moment they take the key seal. Get ready to cut up their diving suits. Whoa. Okay. Oh. Okay, let's get into it again. Zap. Okay. What? It's shivering. This uh, no uh, get away from me Forget him get the seed and the seal now I think I'm starting to get the picture Okay So that's number 1 We enter the temple the moment they take the key seal. Get ready to cut up their diving suits. And then that happens. So they were lurking. The Innsmouthers were lurking here. <laughs> then the expedition came. Okay. What? It's shivering. This. Uh, no! Uh, get away from me! And then that. Forget him! Get the seed and the seal now! The expedition found an artifact that drove them mad. And then the Innsmouthers stole it and the professor in one go. 
Okay, we got key evidence. Let's take a look at the mine palace and combine it. Madness emanates from the scientists. Mad scientists. Okay, so let's see. Members of the expedition who took part in the dive returned witless and babbling. Madness had taken hold of... Had taken hold of them there. And then there is something odd about being in the presence of the scientists. I feel my grip on reality slip when I'm near them. Aha! Okay. Now we could either save the survivors. I can't leave the survivors to die here. Even if their madness may influence others. This is not their fault. Or abandon the survivors. I have to abandon the survivors. Their infectious madness is too dangerous to bring to the surface. They knew the risks. Wow, what a decision to make here. That, that's not easy, honestly. Can't leave the survivors to die here. I think in either way, we, we're gonna continue here. Uh, let's bring them. Let's save them. What can I do now? Can I interact with them? Sancta Mare, be you see our now, eyes. do you? The eyes splendid see horror the of the stars. Okay. What happens? Mine Palace. Uh, that was that? Underwater artifact? The uh, hybrids wanted to recover the strange artifact taken from the ruins and find the one responsible for disturbing it. Members of the expedition who took part in the dive returned witless babbling. Madness have taken hold of them. Okay, that doesn't connect here. So what's my what's my case right now? I guess I just have to go back. Yeah, let's go back and see what happens. Maybe I'm taking them with me. Hmm. The suits are all cut up. <laughs> Those poor bastards. I don't know. Maybe I should I should leave them down here. Let me know in the comments down below how you would have decided. That's cool. Okay, Mine Palace. They have to survive us. Evidence updated. Okay. The Innsmouthers ambushed the expedition on the seabed in the caverns they had discovered. They waited until Professor Doe took the artifact and then attacked. The attackers seized the Professor and the object, leaving the remainder of the expedition to their fates. A photo of the Innsmouther killed in the underwater temple. He's wearing a strange amulet with an image of a fish eye around the neck. For some reason he's armed with a ceremonial dagger. Yeah, I think at that point we should visit Throckmorton and talk about my, my clues so far. But you know what guys, that is a story for a different day. I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Sinking City and if you did then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you want more of that. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.